church. Amen. Give me a minute, if you will, to talk from the subject, the blessing in exposing your weakness. <laughs> the blessing in exposing your weakness. Can you help me look at that person next to you and tell a neighbor, there is a blessing in exposing your weakness. Maybe you're sitting next to a person with a halo over their heads. Y'all been going to church together for years and they tried to fool you to think that they don't have a weakness. Every time you see them, they act like everything it's always all right. Every, every time you see them, they act like they don't ever have to worry, like things don't never get hard, like things don't never get rough, like, 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 like things don't never get tough in their lives. Well, I came to submit to you that there's not a person that enters into the house of God that doesn't struggle with a weakness. Amen. So to help us get where we're trying to go, look at that person and tell them all of us got a weakness. All of us, 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 all of us have a weakness. Society has tried to teach us, Ricky, to cover our weaknesses up. Society has tried to teach us that whatever you do in the closet, you need to keep it in the closet. But can I help you today and tell you there's no deliverance in the closet because the only way to get delivered, I wish I had help right longer than that. Uh, is that you step out the closet uh, and say it's me, it's me oh lord uh, standing in the need uh, and I need about 10 of you up in here, up in here, up in here that have made up in your mind uh, I'm tired of living in the closet uh, I wish I had help here I feel stuck in the closet uh, ain't no room in the closet uh, I can't maneuver in the closet uh, I'm tired of living the same old way uh, tired of having the same old struggle uh, tired of going through the same old thing uh, and so as I step out the closet, I'm asking God to deliver me. And I'm wondering, is there about 10 of you in here that need God to deliver you from something? Why don't you tell somebody and tell them we need deliverance. We need, we need deliverance. I'm missing out on my blessing until I get delivered. I'm missing out on some great things that God got for me until I get delivered. Because what I want to submit to you uh, is that if you expose it, he can change it. Uh, you, you're not helping me. You, you, you're not helping me. I said if you expose it, you give God the opportunity to change it. Uh, and so if you don't expose it, uh, one of the things you're going to have to do is quit worrying about what folk going to say about you when they find out who you really is. there anybody in here can care less what they say, care less how they feel? I need that crowd right now.
The only way um, for weak folk to get strength is that they got to come to church. Amen. Let's see if I can help you. Because, 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 Ricky, when I'm weak, I can't just come to any church. All right now. All right now. God, I feel better now. When I'm weak, I just can't eat it, meet it, mind it, mow a church. When I wish I had help here. When I'm weak, I can't go to a place that make me feel weaker after I leave than what I did before. I Are y'all still listening to your voice? When I'm weak, I got to go to a place that can lift me up when I'm down. I got to go to a place that can encourage me when I'm discouraged. When I'm weak, I got to press my way to a place that has the presence of God there. How many of us are guilty huh? of going huh? just to go? All right now. All right now. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead, Pastor. Tell somebody to tell them that's me. That's me. That's me. Come on, you gotta open your mouth and be honest. Come on. I need you to be honest on the third Sunday in August of 2013. Look at him and tell him that's me. That's me. That's me. That, that, that's me. I don't come with no expectation, but it's because I ain't never gotten it before. And so because I never gotten anything before, I keep coming not expecting anything. But can I help you and suggest to you that church is the place that you ought to come expecting God to lift your burdens, expecting God to make a way out of no way, expecting God to turn darkness into things. All right now. Somebody tell them, let's go to church. 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 let us go but we got issues. All right now. Amen. I wish I had an honest crowd in here today. That, that, that we may not have the same struggle, but that we do have a struggle. And can I help you and tell you step one to get delivered is first of all admit you got a struggle in the first place. Amen. I wish I had help here. So help me preach real quick and tell somebody you ain't got to act all that next to me. You ain't got to act. Come on, tell them. You ain't got to. You, you ain't got to act. You ain't got to be snobby sitting next to me. You ain't got to be arrogant sitting on her. Your nose ain't got to be all in the house sitting next to me. Because all of us in the same boat. You ain't got to be all up in this sitting next to me. Because all of us in the same boat. I don't care what side of town you drove from. All of us in the same boat. I don't care how big your bank account is. All of us in the same boat. I wish I had help in this house. I don't care how long you've been saved. All of us in the same boat. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Preach, Pastor. He gets to church with me. He's in church. In the synagogue. Yeah. On the Sabbath. Uh -huh. NLT. What he say? And he noticed uh -huh. a man with a deformed hand. All right now. Out of all the folk there, he noticed a man with a deformed hand. J. Vernon McGee says, he suggests when he wrote about this text that Jesus had to be searching for him because the man was too embarrassed to come to the front. All right. All right. All right. And so, and so, it suggests, watch this, that when Jesus showed up this Sunday, he was determined that it was that man time to get here. All right. Can I help you right long in there and tell you today could be your day to get healed? Can I help you and suggest to you that today could be your day to get delivered? I need about 15 of y'all that need deliverance from something. To just open your mouth and say, I hope it's my day, Jesus. I hope, I hope it's my day. I hope, I've been going through this long enough. I've been worried about this long enough. I've been dealing with this long enough. I've been crying about this long enough. I've been tossing and turning long enough. I've been putting on the front long 
been faking long enough. I hope it's my day, Jesus. I hope it's my day, Amen, amen, amen. My day to come. Not to worry about what church folks say. All right now. My day. I wish I had help here. Because my deliverance is more important than your conversation. My day. Not to worry about how you're going to look at me when I stand up in front of you. Because my deliverance is more important than your eyes. Right now. Look at your, look at your neighbor and tell him, I hope it's my day. I hope it's my day. I hope it's my day. I hope it's. You can sit there and act like you don't need a day if you want to, but I hope it's my day. You can sit there and act like everything all right in your life if you want to, but I sure hope it's my day. He's in church now. He has a weakness. And just like us. He's covered it up. All right now. There it is. Preach so past nobody see it. My hand. Because I'm embarrassed. Can't can nobody look at my deformity, Jamie, because I'm embarrassed. And so for years. He showed up to church. Uh -huh. Covered up. All right. All right. Deliverance uh -huh. is not in you covering you. All right now. Go ahead, Pastor. Deliverance is in God. Hey, God covering you. All right now. Say, everybody here you know yes. you ain't got enough power to cover your huh? All right now. I feel better already. Anybody here know you ain't got enough strength to cover yourself. But I know somebody whose blood reaches to the highest mountain. I know somebody whose blood flows to the lowest. Watch this. Here it is. Because not only did I notice I would know that weak folk come to church, but the text told me, the text told me that the wrong church can delay your deliverance. Amen. All right now. <laughs> yes, say it one more time. Wrong church. I said the wrong church. Yes. Can delay your deliverance. Amen. 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 So you stuck. Not because of you, watch this, mm -hmm. but because of what you connected to. All right now. Go ahead, Pastor. Oh, come on now. <laughs> you ain't the reason you stuck. The folk you connected to are the reason you. So the only reason to get unstuck is to get disconnected. Oh, shucks. Is there anybody here that'll make up in your mind? If you keeping me stuck, baby, I gotta let you go. If you keeping me from getting what God wants me to be, then I gotta release you so I can attach to where I'm supposed to be. Right now. Yes, Lord. <laughs> The man Lord. is he, he's deformed. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus noticed him. Aww. But rather than the church praying, he get delivered. Oh, the text says the church watched Jesus. Yeah. Now sir, they wanted to see yeah. if Jesus would deliver him Aww. just because it was the sex. Okay. If I need deliverance, who cares what day it is? All right now. All right now. All right now. If I need the Lord right to see me through, I don't care if it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We, I wish I had help here. It doesn't matter what day it is. It can be Saturday night for all I care. If I need deliverance, I need the Lord to do it and do it right now. Amen. Yes, Lord. So as long as you're not the one with the problem, 
it don't matter. Okay? Amen. As long as your hand is well, it doesn't matter that your neighbor's hand is deformed. I wish I had help here. Which means, can I suggest to you that I wouldn't attend or join a church that don't care about my success? Oh, I wish I had help here because if my success is tied in who I'm connected to, I need who I'm connected to to care enough about me that when you see me down, you will help me up. I wish I had help in this house. Is there anybody here? You tired of going to church with folk that look at you crazy every Sunday? You tired of going to church with folk that roll their eyes at you when you walk in the door? You tired of going to church with folk that speak this week? And don't speak the next week. Smile at you this moment. Don't smile at you the next moment. When you don't know what in the world happened between last Sunday and this Sunday. Which means, baby, if we smiled and spoke last week, I'm expecting us to smile and speak. Touch your neighbor, tell them, be the same with me. Be the same. Be the same. I ain't got time for that wish. Be the same with me. Be This is what blew my mind. London. Jesus noticed it. Yeah. What blew my mind was the folk noticed them too. Oh, right now. Yes. Because the text suggests that when Jesus noticed them, the first thing they started doing was wondering what Jesus was going to do about the situation. So why in the world are we dealing with each other if you can watch me down and just look at me? Ain't that something? Am I making any sense? I promise you I'm trying to quit here. Why in the world are we even considered family or friends if you can see me struggling and then just look at me? If you if you got what I need to get up, but you just watching me, and you got some folk that's near you right now, that's what they've been doing all your life. They've just been watching you. Lord, I hope he failed, and I, I sure hope he fall on his face, and I sure hope he don't go nowhere. But what they don't know is greater is he. Don't y'all make me shout on Sunday morning. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the that even if the whole world is against you, if God be for you, he's more than the world. What you tell somebody, I got to know folk on my side. I got to know Jesus in me. That's all I know. Shut you. Jesus in me. If my brother was here, she said Jesus in the morning. Jesus in the noon day. Jesus in the evening time. The more I call him, the better I Is there anybody here? Go ahead and call. All right now, all right now. But then Jesus tricked me. He tricked me, Clark. Because in church, he says to the man with the withered hand, come here, stand in front of everybody. Come on, Fix it up, fix it up. He's already. Huh? Embarrass Jesus. Come on, God. Why do you want him standing in front of everybody? You could have secretly touched him and everything in all life. So you know go talk about him. You want him to stand in front of him. Can I tell you real quick? I promise you I'm on my way to my seat. What Jesus suggests, he says, I told him, Pooh, because I wanted to work it out in front of the very folk that didn't want it to happen. All right now. There you go. And I'm getting ready to shout right long. That right now. Right long in there. But can I tell somebody, you get ready to go in a season in your life where God is going to work some stuff out in front of the folk that didn't want to see it happen. I don't know who you are. I wish I did. I'd come and tell you for myself. But whoever you are, he's going to put you in front of some folk that know they don't want you delivered, that know they don't want you blessed, that know they don't want you to go to another level. He says, I prove it, Pooh, because I'll prepare. Shut the 
You ought to shout overflow, you 